Hey everybody, welcome back to Wealth of Nations, EU4 multiplayer featuring the gang. Hello. What's up? Hey there. You know <laughs> who it is at this point, I'm I'm assuming. Hopefully. Yeah. It's, it's not. been a while. I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> so in the break, you were talking that you're gunning for Danzig. Eventually, yeah. And I'm going to tell you that that is unacceptable. Ugh. To the point where I'm considering warning you. Oh, come on. No expansion. Diplomatic insult, maybe? We're gonna wait. I'm I'm really worried about like you annexing Pomerania. Actually, that's like oh, it's such a pain. I have to go in there. I'm gonna have to liberate Pomerania. Wow, I'm getting a little so scared just, here. Just stay in your little corner of the world, and you know, let me expand to we have, like, all the Germany. Same allies. This is my corner of the world, easily. Well, we've had this argument before. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> mine. Okay. All right, let's play this game. Let's begin. I gotta okay. deal with some goddamn rebels. Thank God. So that's mad. what happens when you conquer a lot of land at once. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm I, just, assuming... I misread the event pop-up. I didn't realize it was going to be in Bornholm. I'm like, four rebels? Yeah, no problem. Oh, it's on an island. God damn it. I'm going to build some mm -hmm. more cogs. Yeah. So Even two to one, I'm worried I'm going to lose that fight. How's your legitimacy, or, uh, sorry, Rep Republican tradition doing? And like, I'm overextension and all that? 78% Republican tradition. I'm 44% overextended, but everything's about the core except for Bornholm. Mm. Because mm. of goddamn rebels. Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> just gonna sit here and rage the entire video. Has Austria gotten smaller? Or am I mistaken? Uh, I can't pinpoint what they would have lost. Maybe they didn't. Maybe it's just because we've grown larger that I now expect them to be, you know, keeping pace. Yay, of course. Okay. All right. I feel pretty safe with my alliances set up. Yeah. Why do you have something planned? <laughs> no, just I'm so small. I can't fight. Like Austria is my biggest worry right now because they still don't like me. Yeah, that's funny. They they don't. Really? No, they're at negative sixteen after improving the relations up to a uh, hundred. Why do they hate you? because uh, I accidentally went into a really early war against the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, I remember. I remember now. That was yeah. pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, I mean, fun's a relative term. <laughs> Those are the days. <laughs> Why does my king have freaking five maneuver and, like, nothing else useful? I mean, three <laughs> shock is pretty good, I guess. Mm. Still right. only have three score. That's a bit of a personal tragedy. I have 31. So. Wow. That's high. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> I try. Where's all my money, though? I have no income anymore. I'm tempted to try to build light ships, but I just know that they're going to end up getting killed. I'm just not in a position where I can really exert any kind of naval support right. or supremacy. Wait, how did I not set a leader? Did I not? Oh, I must have misclicked. God damn it. I was moving my leader and everything. Okay, looks like I'm going to take care of those rebels. I tell you, this is going to be a video full of rage. Oh, <laughs> island rebels are the worst. I'm tempted to build some light ships, but for the second time in as many series, I am uh, still landlocked. I love the fact that I'm at full maintenance. I'm still making, like, bank. Yeah, that must be nice. And half my army are mercenaries. Yeah, that, that must Hunts be nice. Man. Oh, I see. I see, <laughs> Mathis. I see how it's going to be. Uh, I just want a little bit more money. Got to make a little bit more cash. Right. But you're taking money from my coffers. Some embargoes. When, when but it's it's it, but it's my uh, it's Venice trade route. <laughs> it does have his name all over it. What is wait whoa wait? Just saying, Quill. What do you got a merchant over in Wien for? Get get out of here. Well, go oh, do wait, the Baltic whoa. thing. Go do the Baltic thing. You got the whole northern <laughs> half of the map. Oh, it's gonna be like that. Well, first of all, I will point out they actually start me with a merchant in in Vienna. Now, I did move him out at the start of the game, but then I got another merchant, so I'm like, well, I guess I'm going to put him back. And I'm like, holy crap, that's a lot of trade being moved, despite the fact that I've got no ships, obviously. I can invest in a cardinal, everybody. So I'm quite happy that so much trade is flowing north. I've got someone in Frankfurt as well, and he's doing, like, I'm pulling him four and a half. Well, not me alone, but... Stuff's getting done. Yeah, you are you are really making a lot of that money go north. And every other country, of course, but <laughs> Yeah, like 
we're helping each other out. Denmark, I mean, we hate each other, but we can kind of agree that the money should come to the north. <laughs> Maybe I should be helping to make the money come to the north. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Very it's what all the cool kids are doing. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't think that's, you know. No. I'll, I'll consider it. So in general, do you like to, I mean, we've probably talked about it before, but do you like to use one merchant to collect from trade? Or do you um, like to just use them? And no, and I forgot that I've actually got one in Lubeck. I really have to move him. I don't, just don't know if there was an obvious spot to stick him. I think I didn't have... Wait, you don't have anybody... <clears throat> you don't ever have anybody collecting trade? Uh, not in my home node, because you get to do it automatically. The merchant oh, okay. in there gives you, like, five trade power or something like that, but it doesn't matter. And a 10% income boost, but it's not enough to make a difference. Oh, so the I guy I have in my home node, I should, I should just take out of my home node? You can, if you want to steer somewhere else. But if you have no good node to steer from, collecting from trade might be the better way to do it. He gives the same amount of trade power no matter where he is. Mm -hmm. But the 10% bonus is only if you're collecting. Yeah, I'm going to move him into Novgorod. That was, I remember that was part of my plan. And then I can boot some ships over there and steal more trade out of that node. Because right, he's collect. I got somebody collecting in my home node. I should probably move him then. That's cute. You guys have home nodes. You do too. You my just don't know how it works. It's, <laughs> it's Lubeck. It's... Uh, like 100% occupied by Quill. So Venice, do you have a uh, do you have a merchant in Alexandria? Uh, yes, I do. <clears throat> oh, probably want to get some ships over there at some point or something. You're not pulling much. Where else can you grab trade from? Oh, you can't grab any from there. Oh, Constantinople. How about that? Yeah, I just sent one over to Constantinople. Yeah, that's probably your other best one. Either that, or I don't know if you've got one in Wien, but that would be another one to. I do have one in Wien. I have trade being protected in one route. I'm building more ships right now. You get more trade protection going on. Oh, annexation. So much faster. Yeah, it is. Estimated oh, to be done. you aren't you? Hey, you. Son of a. Estimated to be done in eight years. All right. Well, I got a free diplomat. Let's make sure to fabricate a claim on Vorporm. Don't Vorporm? do it. How do you say this stuff? It's an insurance claim. Just in case. Just in case we go to war, then I can take something at a reduced cost. Ah, uh, okay. I understand. Sort of. That's all it is. Hey, if I get caught, that's a more aggressive expansion, so the coalition will strengthen. Mm-hmm, that is true. You got something to root for. Hmm. I'm using the, uh, the graphs right now in the ledger, and they're so useless. <laughs> there's, there's graphs? Yeah, I'm looking at an income graph over time to see how you, how you guys are doing relative to me. Brandenburg, your oh income my God. sucks. Yeah, my income yeah, is real bad. It went way down. Where is this? It's uh, page 32 of the ledger. Of the ledger. Yeah. But it's like you can't really – you have to click the countries that you want to see on the graph, and if you put too many, it makes no sense, and you can't control what color they are. And How does England support 12 heavy ships at this point in the game? Like that's so much freaking maintenance. Aren't they like a gold each? Oh, we're accepting Danish uh -huh. people into our culture. Point five, right. I think. Hmm. So I have like a massive force limit now of 21, and I have no boats. The Hansa has lots of money. Yeah, lots of money, lots of I money. Have, I only have 59 right now. Yeah, light ship's good. Currently assembling my Novgorodian fleet. I don't even know if that's the right term. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's going to be your Muscovy. The soon to be soon. Russian. Yeah. So the reason I was looking through there is I was hoping that it would be possible to, like, just see just trade income over time, so that mm. you can kind of tell better if the changes you're making to your merchant locations is actually helping or not, mm. versus having to like oh. remember the number. Yeah, that makes sense. That would be really handy. So I'm assuming it's not in there. No, no. <laughs> it's just total total income. So it's quite useless. Right, but that's sense. normal. I complain about a lot of stuff. Like right now I'm collecting from Frankfurt because I've got trade power there because, um, I don't know, some reason. And it's not very much. It makes 0. 0.3 ducats a month. I don't know if it'd be better to transfer trade in Constantinople. You know, I've, yeah. I've got some... Uh, people did point out that if, well, not so much for the merchants, but with the ships... When you're picking a location, if you mouse over it, it will tell you how much power your ships will generate, which is kind of handy. Mm. 
Although I think it calculates it in the vacuum. I don't think it considers what other ships you've got there. Right. And it'll also factor in the costs to maintain galleys, transports, and heavies in that fleet. So it'll be like, if you have two heavies in there to protect them or something, it'll say, oh, you're going to lose money. <laughs> this is going to cost one ducat a month for the oh. heavies. I guess that's reasonable, actually. It is. It should, you just yeah. sep separate out the light ships when you're, when you're trying to decide. I look at the heavies, galleys, and transports as a sunken cost. You know, like they are what they are. You have to pay for them. They exist for a completely separate purpose. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, you're still going to be able to look at that and find the most profitable route. It's not going to tell you what the like, net profit without the heavies would be, but it's still useful. Although, again, I don't know if it calculates if you've got another fleet there, which really drives me crazy. I might, but maybe, maybe it's I had a fleet underway or something. I may have misinterpreted. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely. I just wasted a whole month of travel time sending my merchant to Constantinople for no appreciable gain. Yeah, yeah I'm forwarding 0 0.09 ducats. Well, you never know. I mean, until you go to Costco, you know, you don't know if you're going to be able to find that giant jar of pickle <laughs> for two dollars, or if they're going to be sold out. You got to try. It's a good. It's a good analogy. I like it. Hey, I yeah. like it too. This video has been brought to you by Costco. <laughs> now sponsored by. You know, there are worse sponsors. Mm. Seriously, I would do it. Like, yeah. <laughs> what the hell, man? Just give me my membership for free, <laughs> and uh, those uh, those one dollar hot dogs. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's an, a sensible adult sponsorship, I think. You know, this isn't like a NOS energy drink sponsorship. Right. Raise your maybe, keyboard! Maybe I yeah. should get that. <laughs> you need energy the energy drink, drink uh, sponsorship? <laughs> Every Thursday. They're like $3 a can, man. That's crazy. It's also hey. unhealthy as hell for you. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. What happened, like, uh... What? Sorry, uh, we, what happened to the... When, it used to be that when you'd click on a trade note, it would show you all the incoming and outgoing notes along the top. Oh. That seems to be gone now. Oh. My advisor died. I'm wondering if it's because um, if you're somewhere where you can set up a trading company, they've got a button up there. and they, They'll show you all the trading companies, and they'll have a button to auto-create trade. I don't know if you guys have experimented with that yet in the Wealth of Nations. No, I haven't really gotten to the point where I can, where I can mess with that. But yeah, that's probably what broke it there. You'll see when you get to Africa. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be a paradox patch if they didn't break something <laughs> when they add something new. Yeah, well, and some of that might, like, they may have not, like, it might not have been an accidental breakage. It might have been, well, we need to use the space, so that's fine. Yeah. It might be a wrong decision. I think it is. I mean, it was it was quite useful <laughs> to see which, like, because sometimes these arrows, like, especially if, if you have two spots that are going in a very similar path, Mm -hmm. The button to, to decide which direction you steer can sometimes be so close on top of each other you can't even click it. Like, um, it happens a lot in, especially with randomized New World, when you're over in the New World trying to mess with those different nodes. Anyway. Is Byzantium that's enough a good complaining. start in Wealth of Nations? Like a fun start? It's hard as hell, but if, you, figured, if yeah. you make it start, then yeah, it's tons of fun. Mm. I'm, I'm almost wrapping it up soon. World I've almost conquest. done the restoration of the Pentarchy. Mm. It's pretty fun. Hmm. Yeah, lots of hmm. Mm -hmm. I just my mission is to create a fleet again, and my naval force was like forty-four ships, so I need seventy-five percent of that. All right, got my claims, but got my claims on. Not happy about that. <laughs> I'm looking at places I want to go, but the places I want to take are usually allied with larger people. If is there any chance you could get an alliance with uh, Algiers or the Ottomans? Ottomans, no way. Yeah, that's nope. what I figured. That's They're minus 176. Because it's uh, as Venice, you can make inroads into the Mamluks territory and and take over. Uh, stuff around the Alexandria trade node, thereby giving you, uh, you know, the chance to really direct a lot of income up towards where you are. Yeah. How come so you didn't take over um, Cyprus? Uh, remember I bombed that attack? As I was attacking um, Cyprus, I had rebels, like 30 rebels rise up. 
Mm. So it was either take Cyprus but lose like four provinces, or just give up Cyprus and go take my land back. Uh, can I get a pause for a sec? Yeah, press the button. Sure. Where's the button? Oh, thank <laughs> the top goodness. right corner. Oh, but it no only problem. appeared after it was clicked. Okay. It, that's because you click it and it changes from a place oh, symbol. Oh, you got all sorts of answers to all sorts of questions, Arumba. I do. I do. <laughs> yes. I try. <laughs> the so, Pomeranian okay. integration happened. So talking about trade, I, I think I found a way to maybe make it more sens sensible to like try to decide if you're making improvements to your income. All right. So if you're looking, uh, press F1 and then 4, you're looking at the trade tab. And you My can God see with the hotkeys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like So you mean I, I can click the shield and then click the boxy icon. Yeah, all right, I got it. <laughs> or F14. <laughs> we'll get you straight there right away. Um, and then it'll show you, like, you, you can sort by trade power, and then it'll show you how much you're either directing or how much you're making. And the thing is that if you collect from trade, not in your capital, you lose 50% of your trade power. It says some weird number, like... If you hover over any any node that you're not collecting that you're collecting in that's not your capital node, it'll say like minus forty one percent, minus seventy two percent, like whatever. But what they're actually doing is taking your total trade power divided by two. And so I'm not depending collecting on your, from anywhere, you're always collecting from your home node, except mm. for that. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think it makes sense to me then that if you are um, directing a smaller number, it just just you can click change and just check real quick. And see if it, if it would make more money to collect from there or to forward the money. Anyway, if you click not. change. It's not gonna. Well, you're gonna have to move a merchant, or is it no. telling you on the next screen? No, in the 1.6 patch that you can just you can automatically switch from transfer trade power to collect. Oh 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 oh. That changed. Yeah, we're not moving merchants. Oh yeah. yeah. So you switch them and then see like okay, so he was forwarding say 0.15, now he's collecting 0.11. Depending on the ratio that you have in the target node. Just a quick little mental math. So mission. I have to hit change and then keep the same guy who's already doing it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, hang on, I'm getting pop-ups. Like for me, I'm, I can I can collect 0. 0.14 in Ragusa, or I can forward 0. 0.1, 0. 0.2. But I don't have 50% control of the Venice node, so it's definitely better to collect. Does that make sense? That's funny. Yeah. Well, if I switch my guy in Vienna from transfer to collect, I would lose because I eh, it works out to about the same because I've got about two thirds control of Lubeck. It drops from one and change to 0. 0.74. Actually, I guess that might be slightly better. I see what you're saying. It's unnecessarily complicated, I think. Yeah, because <laughs> I will collect less than I was transferring, but I'm not collecting all of it when I receive it anyway. So if I've got less than like. 80% control over Lubeck. Yeah. Right. right. What you can do is you use... Okay, so go to the trade map mode now and, and look at your percent control in the node. Yeah. So for me, I have 21% control in Venice. So what's 20% of 0 0.2? 0.04 is 11. Wait, hold on. Um, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> you can actually <laughs> check my map. So 0 0.11 is obviously better than 0 0.04. Which right. is still... We're talking about like a fourth of a ducat. Or sorry, a... a 0 0.04 of a ducat. So it doesn't matter. But Yeah, this sounds like the sort of thing that'll make an entertaining video. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally. So, totally. in the Baltic Sea, if I change that, I'll go from 4 down to 3.17, which is about 3 quarters, which is more than 61%. Holy crap. Well, look at that. You making more money now? I shouldn't yeah. have told you. I'm going to keep uh -huh. this. Yeah, he was already on. doing pretty well for himself. Thanks, Arumba. Yeah, well, one of these days, I figure if I talk about it enough, you'll learn how trade works. Northern oh, that's Island. just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, every time we play EU4, you're like, I have no idea how trade works. Yeah. I don't even look at that map mode. That's why I like playing Brandenburg until now. Now I've got all these, you know, maritime provinces. I've got to pay more attention. I actually took the trade map trade map mode off of the uh, quick bar at the top. And you know what I replaced it with? What? No. Player map mode. Smart. Yep. France is getting big, man. Yeah, as usual. They're just wrecking, wrecking house. Here's the thing, though. I, I think I'm actually getting more money in Lubeck somehow. Well, did you like core something uh, or something? Maybe I'm maybe being you're... wrong. No, I'm just misreading something. 
collect all the things. All right. See, so like, okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I can collect 0. 0.6 ducat, or so I can forward 0. 0.6 ducats out of Wien, mm -hmm. or I can collect 0. 0.43. Mm-hmm. So, in order for oh. Wien to be better, I'd have to make. Uh, with 21% control of Venice, I'd have to be making... It feels like some of these numbers have dropped even what? further. Like in the Baltic Sea, I was doing... Like I was transferring four and then I could collect three, but I'm only connecting 2.4. Maybe there's more competition all of a sudden. Could but be. Yeah, I mean, as you change, they change. I think yeah. there's, a, um, there's a chaining bonus as well, though, isn't there? If I'm transferring yeah. from both the Baltic and Novgorod, Novgorod will get an even bigger... Yep. When you're on the trade map mode, you can hover over the tooltip that shows how much money is leaving a node and it will tell you how much you're increasing the value by. Yeah, and right now more, I'm not increasing it by any because I'm just collecting everywhere. Right, and the more people are forwarding it, the bigger the bonus. But it used to be bigger in the past. They nerfed it. Because people were sending trade around the whole world and getting like 8,000 ducats a month. It's so complicated. Why does anyone play this game? <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, it's perfect for OCD people. And people like okay. me. Oh, right. And uh, hey, do you, are you guys in a good spot? Because <clears> the timer thing went Yeah. Out. Very much yeah. so. I okay. Think. So this is the trade episode. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll follow Paradox's schedule. So next we'll, we'll talk about diplomacy, I guess, in depth in the next episode. <laughs> uh, as always, thanks for watching. You know the spiel at the end, but let me remind you, if you enjoyed the episode, it would mean a lot to us if you click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Allows us to keep doing what we're doing. Subscribe if you want to see conveniently these videos placed in your YouTube feed on a daily basis. And check out other people's perspectives to get a little bit of a feel for what's happening on the other side of the world or maybe even close to home. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.